Good evening or good morning or good afternoon from whatever country you're watching this broadcast from. A few years ago I put out this Van Halen DVD for the phrase by phrase guitar method. And uh, if you're following my uploads on the Marco Coconut YouTube channel, the video that you're watching now includes a virtual tuner so you can tune along to Eddie Van Halen's custom guitar tunings. It also includes amplifier and guitar settings. And to start things off, here is an introduction from the original DVD. Welcome to the Phrase by Phrase Guitar Method. In Phrase by Phrase, we will explore some of the greatest guitarists and guitar styles of all time. Rather than looking at a song as a whole, Phrase by Phrase breaks them down into small, recognizable sections we call phrases. After a thorough explanation showing you finger placement and technique, each phrase is played at a practice tempo of half speed. Once you have learned several phrases, the sections are pieced together at a faster tempo. You're watching the right video if you're interested in learning to tear up the fretboard. In this issue of Phrase by Phrase, we'll dissect Eddie Van Halen's inventive guitar style, which redefined how rock guitar was played. Here's some cool history behind the making of this DVD. I was put in contact with Eddie Van Halen's manager at the time, and he arranged for me to use an EVH, early EVH Wolfgang prototype guitar during the filming of the lessons. And uh, at one point, uh, one of our conversations, he said, hey, I told Eddie about uh, the project that you're working on, and he thinks it's very cool. Before EVH sent me the Wolfgang guitar, I had been writing the script and rehearsing for about five weeks, and I was struggling with quite a few of the sections. As soon as the Wolfgang was delivered, everything came together magically. It played that good. So here's a clip of me introducing the Wolfgang on the original DVD. To recreate the classic early Van Halen guitar tone, we are using an EVH Wolfgang guitar provided courtesy of EVH gear. The pickup is set to the bridge location. This guitar is custom wired so the toggle up position engages the bridge pickup. Center is bridge and neck played together and down engages the neck pickup only. At the time this DVD was made I was endorsed by the Carl Martin company and I was using their effects exclusively on a lot of my DVDs. I want to point out that you can use other brands. The uh, You don't have to have the exact same effect pedal. If I'm using a distortion pedal, chances are a different brand that you may have will have pretty much the same uh, controls. Okay, so even if you don't have Carl Martin effects, definitely play around with the effects that you do have and use the settings that I give here as a reference. We are running the guitar through effects courtesy of the Carl Martin Company. First in line is a plexitone distortion. Boost is not used. 
level is just before 1 o'clock, tone to 3 o'clock, high gain around 1 o'clock, and crunch just past 10. Eddie often uses a flanger, which we have a Carl Martin classic flange with speed around 12 o'clock, depth is set to 1 o'clock, pre-delay to 2 o'clock, and feedback just past 3 o'clock. Almost all of the early songs use classic chorus, with rate all the way up, speed set low about 9 o'clock, depth is between 11 and 12 o'clock, and level is set to 11. Then we are running into an echo tone with echo set just before 3 o'clock. Feedback just past 12, tone to 1, and time to 4 o'clock. For the amp EQ, bass is dialed in at 2 o'clock, middle to 1 o'clock, and treble to 2 o'clock. Mm -hmm. 